All right, this is just kind of a little basic run through on all the interior features of the 2010 Raptor. Some of this stuff is also things that the regular F-150 will have, and some of it will be Raptor exclusive. Just trying to give a brief overview, so uh, just bear with me. All right, let's start her up. Okay. When we first start it up, it's going to do its little Raptor intro part, and then it'll go to whatever the home screen is. Right now I've got it set up to where the home screen has two photos that, uh, that I added into it, because you can add photos to it. Alright, so you click these little squares here. Uh, it's going to talk. Alright, this will change it back to satellite map stuff, and then back over here. It'll give me radio and also the climate area. You can click on any part of the screen, it'll bring it to full size. You can always click the house little button here. This will go more into here. Right now we're in radio mode. If I click media, it'll bring it over to my iPod. There's also a jukebox right here that has music that it saved from CDs. It can rip music as long as it's a real CD and has a grace note so you can't just uh, make an mp3 disc and load it into there. And then of course CD, DVD. It'll only do DVD if you're at a standstill. No, so I just use user device and then right here I got USB. You can also do Bluetooth audio so you if you have a fast internet connection, you could probably run Pandora off your phone or something like that. So, but I just leave it here. Okay, we'll back out to the main screen. Click on climate. It'll bring all this stuff up. Okay, and it's got auto air conditioning where it'll keep it at a certain temperature or you can manually raise the blowing speed and all that stuff. Yeah, so just, um, so the AC starts coming on like a crazy. Now anytime you can use the touch screen or you can use the buttons underneath it to control things. These two right here have to do with the radio functions and this row here has to do with air conditioning stuff. So it looks like a lot of buttons but it's not. Or you can always just use the touch screen like if you want to make it hotter. So we'll go back to the main screen. So, and that's pretty much a quick little run through of the nav screen system. So.